And there's the countdown match underway. Qualification match number 15. Waxton quickly grabbing all the power cells from the initiation line for the Blue Alliance. Over on the Red Alliance, Aleem 4910 grabs most of them. Donut Jonut coming in to grab the remaining power cells. They're also going for those rebound power cells that don't quite make it and fall back onto the playing field. Blue Alliance off to a 27 point lead at the end of our autonomous period. But Red Alliance beginning to set themselves up to close that gap. We're seeing Donut Jonut and Aleem 4910 making the trench run with Hopper's full of power cells. Terminator 85 of the Blue Alliance coming in and beginning to make contact with Donut Jonah. That contact is taking place in the Blue Alliance territory. That means that a timer starts going off on Donut Jonah, but that contact backs off. No robots respawning today. Blue Alliance with a 30 point lead, extending that lead further. All three Blue Alliance robots for just a short period of time scoring at the same moment. But we're seeing Donut Jonut now getting pinned by both Josh3674 and Terminator85. That contact was taking place in the Red Alliance territory, which caused that respawn for that Red Alliance robot. Blue Alliance lead 193 to 141. Blue Alliance doing a very good job scoring in the inner port. The same number of power cells have been scored by both alliances, but we're seeing a sizable Blue Alliance lead. These drivers doing a great job fine-tuning their launchers to get right into that inner port and score the additional point that comes along with it. 40 seconds remaining in the match. Endgame quickly approaching. It looks like Aleem 4910 and Jam 2145 joined by Donut Jonut. Those three Red Alliance robots going for what could be their last major scoring opportunity in the outer and inner port. 20 seconds to go. Aleem 4910. It looked like they may try to get ready on that shield generator switch, but they decided to go right through the rendezvous point and grab a few more power cells out of the loading zone. Less than 10 seconds to go, and we're seeing our first few robots line up with the shield generator switch. Josh 3674, first up for the Blue Alliance. It looks like all three Red Alliance robots make it up. They're joined by what appears to be all three Blue Alliance robots as well. A 20 point spread indicated by the live score. And in the end, this one going to the Blue Alliance, 356 to 336. Well, the Blue Alliance did win. They did not get the shield generator operational ranking point. They're only able to score 55 points in the end game. We're seeing that the high ranking teams are the ones that are able to secure four ranking points each match. That does mean that even though the Blue Alliance will be happy with this win, they're going to be a little disappointed at not being able to nail the four ranking points. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.